It's 2024, 25, and the world is going bonkers. Uh oh. So I decided to cut myself away from the world and enjoy only the simple things in life. Like the Tamagotchi second edition re released 2017. But I'm kind of missing out on all the good stuff like inflation, racism, homelessness, crack addiction. So I thought to myself, what is keeping me awake from recreating an entire Tamagotchi from scratch and putting all of those things inside of it? So the first step is to get some code running on my computer. But first, we gotta decide on the electronics to use. And my drug of choice, the Raspberry Pi. It's got pins to attach sensors, displays, and even a pacemaker if you want. But most importantly, it works with the language of the Olympus gods, and the only one I know, Python. Python was invented in 1991 by this guy, Guido van Rosser, in the Netherlands, which is right at the end of the cock and balls, at the CWI in Amsterdam. Literally this place. Python is beautiful. It can do hardware interfacing, parallel processing, multi-thread. <laughs> No, I'm joking, we don't give a shit about this. What we care about is this little piece of code right here. It turns any image into a 10 pixel square and then scan every pixel and store the RGB value into a list. It then sends it over to another code that places those pixels on a grid. Okay, so now we have a static sprite on the screen. Well, that's just as interesting as my grandpa's funeral. A video game needs movement. So I set up a function that would redraw the sprite at a different position at every frame. And I can change the number of frames per second to change the speed. So now if I run the script, there we go. Pixels on a grid, it's even moving around. It's clean, it's easy, it's simple. I'm fucking, what the f I put together a few low resolution character designs and track the age of the Tamagotchi as time goes by. Now that was a lot of work already. All of that for the little shitter to just move around and wait for the end of its miserable existence. And it died. And it left the screen. Okay, there's a couple of things to fix. And that's pretty much the moment I realized I knew nothing about Tamagotchis anymore. The last time I touched one, was 10 years ago. So the only solution was to go into the wild, searching for an actual Tamagotchi. Hey! hey. Shh, we're in the environment of the Tamagotchi right now. I tried to learn its ways, get familiar with its natural habitat. It's right over there. And understand its habits, stalking it. Ultimately, I managed to get close enough and befriend it. I then set off to what was gonna be my hardest quest, actually playing with the Tamagotchi. And it ate so much of my time, answering its call day in and day out. Anyways, here are my findings. The Tamagotchi is pretty small. It has three buttons to navigate the menu. So you can feed it, turn on the light, play with it, give it medicine, clean the screen, check its stats and discipline. I mean, that's pretty fucking limited. And that's not what life is about. And if you want to be a little psychological, <laughs> you can look at it on the Maslow's pyramid and you can see that he's basically fulfilling only its physiological needs. It's time to look at the win condition. We're gonna take inspiration from the pyramid again. After fulfilling all the needs, we get to self-actualization. The achievement of a life, the rewarding of all your efforts. So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna turn every single step of the pyramid into stats. And then we're gonna increase or decrease those stats based on tasks that we need to do. You get a house, you get safety. You socialize, you get love and belonging. You eat, you got food, you rest, you got sleep. It's perfect. So what's the first step of survival? Food. Maybe the most important of them. And how does the original handle that? Click a fucking button. Where does the food come from? How does he pay for it? The number of hoops that you have to jump through to get food is crazy. So we're making a platform game. Rule 34. So each platform is gonna have a certain width and then their position is gonna be randomized. Within the script, at every frame, the platforms are gonna be updated in the sense that they move towards the left. So we're not creating a million platforms. We're just creating a few. And then when you don't see them anymore, you just reset their position to the beginning. All right, I have it all set up. Let's try. So I set up a gravity. If the Tamagotchi is not on a platform and he's not jumping, he's going to fall down by one pixel every single frame. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that. The platforms are here, why are you going through them? Okay, so to fix it, we check the position of the Tamagotchi at every frame. <laughs> but here's the twist. The number of platform is proportional to the money you have. So if say you own a social media and manipulate the elections, you can just walk to the food, but no money, no food. And to get money, you gotta work. Work is a repetitive succession of mind-numbing, brain-destroying, soul-sucking tasks. So that's exactly the minigame. So the game shows a sequence of tasks, and then you have to redo them. If you do them correctly, you get a cute check mark. And if you lose, you get absolutely flashbanged until you lose the sight in both of your eyes. And then it starts again with one more task. And based on your performance, self-esteem can go up and down. And money goes up. But working makes you tired and decreases your rest drastically. And if your rest goes to zero, you die of exhaustion, just like an Amazon warehouse worker. And here's the twist. Based on your education level, the tasks, income, and difficulty change. But that means we have to code education and link all the variables together. But that's hard. And my brain's small and I never coded a game. And I don't know how to do game logic. But I mean, there's nothing to worry about because we got such a beautiful education system. 
I mean, YouTube is fucking great for learning. The only danger to it is not to click on shorts. But I mean, I don't watch those things anyways. Person you know. Things, black pants. Money don't grow on trees. I see your friend. Smell like a... Oh, you know, you want shorts. I'm like, you have a boyfriend. And you... Yeah, I like that. Uh, so with only a few days before the deadline and half of my brain rotted from the shorts, I needed to change gear. I'm still missing most of my game logic and the delicious looking shell of the Tamagotchi. So let's fix it. I measured the whole Tamagotchi shell. I recreated it pretty fast into the CAD software and then sent it over to my 3D printer. And I then placed it next to my bed to hopefully beat Indonesia's record in microplastic intake per month. Yeah, no, it's not fitting. I might have overlooked the size of the electronics. What if the microplastics were finally giving me the brain aneurysm I deserved? Let's check what is going on inside my head. Are you all retarded? We based our 3D design on the original Tamagotchi. Obviously, it's not gonna fit. Come on, guys, that's a pretty good opportunity to learn something, isn't it? I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Wait, does that mean we're gonna have to redo the entire thing again? What the fuck is going on? We don't even have a display yet. Oh shit, a display. I like money. <laughs> So I got this little shitter. It's an LED matrix, 64 by 32 pixels. Unfortunately, you can't just plug in cables and expect it to work. No, you're gonna need a battery and an interface. Wait, does that mean it's time for the... Pie sandwich, stick two boards around your pie and bite in it. That was pretty cool, you liked it? It took me two hours. Two hours that I could have used to work on my game logic because I don't have all of the game logic yet. And I won't be making the deadline of open source 2025 if I don't work on it. So I decided to ask for some help. Have you heard of Tamagotchis? Yeah, it's not like the Japanese thing, little animal, digital animal. So I'm building a Tamagotchi. I want to make them human. They need to have all the struggles of humanity. Crack addiction, bank problems. It sounds like some crazy Black Mirror slave type of shit. How do I make a mini game for my Tamagotchi? You could do like a um, dealer, no deal kind of a thing for the education. Or you're like betting on a briefcase, which would be either like gender studies or like mechanics. <laughs> Okay, I think I got something for socializing. The game is gonna be like Pokemon. Yeah. So with the health cards, you have to choose between being real or making friends. The person who comes to you is gonna be like, hey dude, you know, I like going on yachts and like uh, doing drugs. Do you like that? And you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. I love that. So not just like in real life, you can gamble on your Tamagotchi's education. And if you want something better, you can always pay for it afterwards. But we both know you won't have the time or money. And to raise the social stat, you can now socialize with other Tamagotchis and learn all about the magic of racial segregation? The other Tamagotchi will speak about his own skin color, and if you answer with your own, your social stat will go down, but your self-esteem will go up. And the other way around. Looking back at the pyramid, we see that we have food, self-esteem, and social. We're just missing safety and rest. Now, safety comes in many forms. Being educated, having enough food and money, but the most important one is housing. So I designed a couple of accommodations from not so safe to the safest. How does a crack house look? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Is that, is that Jesus? And then we need a barrel that's like smoking and fuming. This is my vision for the apartment building. And like it's those, it's those little automatic door. You can go from a crack house to an actual house. So you might have noticed that the world is kind of in a housing crisis. Nothing bad, just people dying on the streets. So to apply for a house, you need to beat a reaction game to kind of beat the other applicants to the house. Then a real estate agent will check your income, education, social skills, and surprise, surprise, skin color to then accept or refuse your application. Congrats, now you pay a humongous amount of money for rent, but you're safe. And the last that is rest. If you thought it was gonna be sleeping, you're fucking wrong. No, when I'm stressed, I think about 10 year old me playing tap tap revenge on a shitty iPod touch with my face three centimeters away from the screen. So, That's all the mini games, which leaves me just a few days to finish the body of the Tamagotchi. So I set up a quick 3D model, and then for the printing, I tried using one of those 3D printing online services that are shielded all over YouTube because of how fast and affordable they are. <laughs> well, I'd love to keep both my kidneys, my choice. So I contacted a friend that has a very specific flavor of autism. I sent him the files of the 3D model I created and a couple of feed pictures for payment. And a week later, this baby showed up to my doorstep. This motherfucker doesn't slide in. It's literally one centimeter off. I have no idea how this happened. So let's fix it.
and I thought from that point it was gonna be smooth sailing. But after literally three hours of trying to make it work and failing and trying again, I found a solution to all my problems. And that's when it hit me. The shitty interface is not compatible with the Raspberry Pi 5. So I downgraded. And after another hour of fighting with it, I managed to create absolute art. Tamagotchis are hot again. After 20 years, people are back on the Tamagotchi train and they want more stakes. Thankfully, local inventor Terence Grover created a giant high stakes Tamagotchi and against all odds, it is much better than the original. Mm -hmm. What? Buy gun? Do yes. Buy oh, do we have money okay, for that? that? It raised your safety for like 40 points. Wow. <laughs> no! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but this is impossible. You know that, the right? The more money you have, the more platform you get. No, I don't need that. We need money, right? <laughs> hmm. 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 Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> do you want to incite a riot? Sure. Yes. Check your stats, I don't know what it does. Oh. Yeah, your safety went up, and your money went up. Oh! Fuck. fuck! Oh no! Hey, that's education. Dude, you dropped out. I dropped out. That sucks. Zero. It's nothing. You got a, a, a bastard. <laughs> that's good. That's you got so minus 20,000 that you got through. Oh <laughs> shit. Is that an old age? Yeah. This is a representation of life. You don't have time to do anything. That's it? <laughs> and <laughs> over? <laughs> okay, now, now I'm more prepared now to go through life. Now you know it's so fucking hard. This one no, you did is... It's because the more money you have, the more platforms there is. But this is impossible. Because billionaires can eat whatever they want. <laughs> do you want to drink bleach? No, thank you. Do you want to incite the riot? Yes. But raise your self-esteem like crazy. <laughs> Oh, they change also? They change. And then based on your skin color compared to the real estate agent's skin color, you have more or less change. What did you get out of it? Um, well, I'm just gonna go back home and kill myself because I'm bad at life. All right, let's fucking speed run that bitch. We're missing social, we're missing his team. So we're gonna have to go talk to fucking people. Uh, let's optimize the, the percentage. So 98 and 50, that sounds good. Uh, 98, 50, that sounds good. Fucking double win, let's go. Do I want to incite a riot? Uh, yes, for the self-esteem and for my social. Uh, c commit tax fraud. Uh, do I need money? Not really, but I don't want to commit to like lower safety. I still don't have money for for housing. That that's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. Okay, work again. One, one, two, two, one, three, one. Two. Fuck you. <laughs> I died. You starved. Inside a riot, fuck yeah. Shit. I died. I'm Buy a gun? Yes, for safety. Safety is seven. Fuck, social is zero. Oh no. I died alone. Oh shit. Drink bleach, fuck it. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. And comment down below what hate crime would you commit if you didn't have a hobby to channel all your energy into. Me, it would be... What does the inside of Grover's mouth look like? Grover. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm coming. Oh,